Well, welcome to the round three review for BBL Supercoach 2022 and three. And far out, we are ranked pretty high now. <laughs> Overall, 156. I never thought I'd see the day. I honestly didn't think I had that good of a week. Um, there's a couple of players that I didn't didn't really own that I thought were going to hurt me. But um, nonetheless, we went up another 460 spots, which is unbelievable. Hopefully, we can keep bloody pushing up. Remember, lockout is today at 3.30, so just be bloody mindful of that. Don't we get stitched up. Um, but yeah, team's travelling really nicely. So yeah, scored 1,141, which is just a really good effort, I think. Uh, I, yeah, I've never really been that good at BBL, but just having one of those seasons, and hopefully we can just continue to progress. And um, yeah, we'll keep it short and sharp as always. Um, no, I don't want to bloody piss off. Um, okay, so... Wicketkeeper-wise, uh, Inglis, so really good coverage here. Um, I think he's due for a bad score, honestly. What's his break even? Um, 48. Yeah, probably going to keep him. So, yeah, Inglis has been really good for a couple of weeks, but I'm not expecting big numbers from him. Got a, got very lucky again, uh, not owning Phillippe. Like, he's, he's going to start hurting, I reckon. Um, yeah, Phillippe went off when he played, and I was a bit paranoid with Inglis, but, yeah, got very, very fortunate there. Uh, onto the batsman, so uh, Matty Short, just unbelievable as always. Duplessis was really nice. He responded. Not sure. I think I'll go trade out Duplessis or Hardy, one of the two, because I can't afford it. You'll see what I mean later on. So I haven't really decided who goes out of those two. We'll, we'll roll the dice uh, some out. And then, oh, you've seen Peter Siddle's hat-trick on his birthday. Now you've seen Nisa with a hat-trick, not on his birthday, but yeah, kudos to him anyway, he, that was just unbelievable to watch, um, if only I captained him, but I mean, yeah, you can't really predict it, I'm just grateful that I, I traded him in, and it was a very good move, so um, yeah, he'll probably be a keeper, I reckon, um, yeah, welcome to the team, to Nisa, um, uh, Chris Lynn, not really sure if I, I want to get rid of him, but I just think he's too cheap, I can't really, I can't really get rid of him at all, honestly, I think I'm forced to hold him, I uh, get Hales and Davies back. A loophole this week would be nice. I'm not really sure what the goal is there. Maybe you have Naveed. Not quite sure. Um, Richardson was quiet, but nonetheless, we'll hold him anyway. Only had his single, obviously. So, yeah, clearly not going to be that influential. Uh, Steckity was an unbelievable VC. I uh, was on 70-something after the first game. And I said, you know what, I'm going to bank that every day of the week. So I kept the faith and it paid off. So, yeah, very good there. I uh, got Rashid Khan in. So what happened was... I was going to get a donut because Naveed wasn't going to play and the only team that hadn't played yet was the Strikers and seeing that Rashid's in basically 64% of teams, I, I kind of went for a defensive move and just got him in to be safe and didn't really need to do it because he wasn't influential at all, just at 31. I think I'm going to trade him out this week. I need the money. It's simple as that. He's going to bleed cash. Um, and Kuhn, Kuhneman, I, I, bloody, I struggle with this name, but um, look, for a rookie, that's pretty good. Obviously, had his double as well, so uh, he's going to make plenty of money uh, short, short term anyway. Uh, Stoinis, yeah, I didn't really see much of this game. Obviously, I was at work at the time, so but uh, hopefully he can respond. He's he's so cheap. We're just forced to hold him, aren't we? Whether I field him or not is another thing. I'll get Sam's on for now. Um, but, yeah, we get him back. Obviously, it's going to be good. The trades for this week. So this is what I'm weighing up. So I'm going to get rid of Rashid, and I think it's... Duplessis, so obviously he turned up. Um, BBL was a funny game, isn't it? Is he gonna? Is he due for a shit score or Hardy? I mean, he's probably the obvious one to go, but he's. I feel like he's one of the best all around, isn't the comp at the, mo at the moment right now. So, and he's got a negative break even. So, look, I don't really want to do it, but I think I've got to trade Duplessis um, to for Philippi. Um, yeah, very highly owned player, Philippi, and he's starting to find form. 78 was scary. I mean, as I said before, got super fortunate with Inglis, so that's why I avoided that sort of um, carnage. It was a good antipod not to have at the time, but look, Philippi's a star, and not own him. I mean, it's only a matter of time before he makes, before he makes me pay. So, um, yeah, probably just go through with that. And um, Hosein, he was so good to watch. I mean... I was watching him the other night and thinking, who is this bloke far out? He's dominating. Got his double next week, I'm pretty sure. So going early on him would probably be ideal. And 16K and banking another trade. Not going to use the all, all three, I don't think. Um, I had a lot of money in the bank, but I had to go... Uh, who was it? Someone. I think it was... Uh, hmm, uh, I can't remember. But somebody to, to Khan. 
because, but yeah, I lost about 80k, which wasn't very good, but um, nonetheless, very happy with the rank that we've got, and um, yeah, looking forward to watching some cricket today, hopefully we can keep going and just hold our rank even, that'd be ideal, but um, yeah, don't forget people, because I'm um, yeah, very short turnover, and um, yeah, pretty happy with the team coming here this week, um, we'll have to sort our loophole, we'll wait and see, I'll VC somebody, and um, if not, always I can always use my third trade to get in someone that's not playing if I really do need a loophole. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, um, yeah, other than that, that's about it for this week. Um, I'll keep it there, guys. Oh, I'll get rid of Lynn for Hales, I'm pretty sure. That's probably going to be a good idea. Um, so, yeah, look after yourselves. And, um, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.